Hey guys, Moran Pobert here, and today I'm going to talk about how to make small business deals work. So many people ask me, hey, you know what, Moran, I want to get into the space of buying businesses. Maybe I should start with buying small businesses. I went to sites like flipa.com and I realized, you know what, I can buy a company, a website for like $2,000 and I can experiment on buying that business using my own money and I can see how that works and if that works well, then I'll go out there and buy maybe bigger businesses and see how those works, right? And just grow myself as I go. Now, the problem with that is that with site like, sites like Flippa, at least the last time that I saw, most of the deals there are small. I mean, I don't think that you can buy a business there for more than like uh, one hundred or $200,000. And the problem with that is that and again, that's just based on my experience and the things that I learned. And I spent multiple six figures over the years on multiple mentors and pretty much anything that you can think of is that when you buy a small business, it's not even a business. That's, that's the problem. If you don't really buy yourself a business, you're buying yourself most of the time a job inside of a business. And that's the, in my opinion, that's the last thing you want to do. I mean, you just better start a business and be involved in the day to day. I mean, is it better than starting a business from scratch? Perhaps because maybe you saved yourself a few months of work to get to get to that point where you just have a business doing, I don't know, three grand a month, right? Maybe you saved yourself a few weeks or a few months. But what you're doing, you need to understand that when you're buying those small businesses, first of all, it will be really hard to get financing outside of using your personal capital because a financial institution or a bank when they're going to look at those small, small businesses, they're going to see a lot of risk as well. Because, I mean, the smaller the business, the more risky it is. And that's why the bigger the business, the more people are willing to pay for it. So if you'll see the biggest companies out there, like Facebook, they're buying companies like Instagram for high multiples of profits or, or, or whatever the deal structure is, because there is less risk, because there are more assets in those businesses. There are tons of employees, lots of technology in their space, lots of customers. So many assets that they can work with and the chances of a business like that to fail is much lower compared to you buying a small business on Flippa that is basically a one-man show. And in my opinion, the last thing you want to do if you want to be an entrepreneur is buy yourself a job inside of a business. Because, and that's why I'm suggesting to people who are getting into this space who work with me is to go out there and find businesses that are doing at least a million a year in sales, like not less than half a million a year in sales, because at least based on what we found is that smaller businesses than that are basically businesses with people who pretty much have um, a job inside of their business. It's kind of like a hobby that someone needs to work a lot in to get paid a, a, an okay salary. So. And again, there's nothing wrong if you want to have a job inside of a business and you like the idea of running the day to day. But what I'm suggesting to you is that if you want to buy a business, it's going to take you, first of all, probably the same amount of time and money to buy a very small business on Flippa versus it is to buy a multi-million dollar business. Because when you buy, like I said, when you buy a site on Flippa, let's say you put 50 grand of your own money to buy a website, you can take that 50 grand and leverage it to buy a bigger business because when you have a bigger business they already have assets like cash flow like different assets on their balance sheet that you can leverage and then your 50 grand can be worth much more when you look at those bigger businesses and when you buy those bigger businesses you buy something established with an existing uh, like i said list of list of assets you buy yourself a business with employees who can run the day-to-day -day so you can step back and be the person who's overseeing the business who's kind of like the owner investor, the owner chairman. There's one, the person who's responsible for the vision, for the strategy, who's not responsible for the menial, repeatable, boring day to, in my opinion, boring day to day, that is like doing the same thing again and again. And when you're able to buy something established, like I said, it's gonna take you the same amount of time and money to do that. That's why I'm suggesting just go and buy something that's already existing, that's already making at least a million a year in sales, and then, I mean, if you wanted to buy that website on Flippa because it looks exciting and interesting, just go and buy a bigger business in the same sector and bring those exciting ideas to those businesses because you already have a list of clients and services that you can leverage from day one. So I hope that makes sense because, I mean, I'm telling you, I saw horror stories of people who bought 
an existing business. Like I had someone came to me a um, few days ago and I, I want to see how I can talk about it without letting go of details of the details of the person of the, or the deal. But he invested more than $200,000 of his own money to buy a business because he heard and what he, I mean, what he heard and, and learned so far is that you got to close your first deal as soon as possible. Now, there's nothing wrong with that attitude that, you know what, let's go it, let's pull the trigger, let's get those results. Um, but what I saw is that he spent so much money buying a business without the understanding of realizing if the deal is a good deal or not even. So what happened in his case, he bought a business that isn't even bring, like, like, here's what he told me. Hey, I paid so much money to buy that business. And right now the business is losing a few thousand dollars every month. That's what I found out after I bought that business. So not only that I put all that money to buy that business, now I need to inject more capital every month just to continue to trade that business. Otherwise I need to shut everything down and liquidate the business and fire all the employees. And right now I don't know what to do. I need to bring in a few thousand dollars every month just to continue to trade that business and pay salaries, right? I already spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy that business. I just don't know what to do. And I'm not even talking about him not getting paid at all whatsoever because there's no money in the deal. So the idea of closing a deal just to close a deal, I don't think it's worth it. Heck, I mean, think about it. The last thing you want to do is get yourself into a shitty business because you're not going to, you're going to end up with something that isn't paying you at all. He's losing money every month. Plus you're spending so much time in doing something that you probably hate because you probably need to be there in the day to day because there's not enough cash flow to hire someone else to do the day to day for you. That's why I think before everything, before you go out there and look for businesses, you got to figure out what's your criteria, what would be the ideal scenario for you. And that's why when I'm about to talk to people and work with them, the first thing I'm asking them, or one of the first things is, let's put ourselves one year from today. And I want you to literally put yourself 12 months from today and think with yourself, what needs to happen for me to be truly satisfied and excited about my results, assuming that I'm getting myself into the space of buying businesses. Is it to own a business? What? Doing what? How much the business is doing in revenues? How much the business is doing in profit? How much money you want to take out of, the, out of the business? Do you want to take that amount of money? Is it before taxes or after taxes? Do you want to be involved during the day to day or do you want to have someone running the day to day for you and you want to step back and either just have a chill lifestyle or do whatever? Or maybe do you want to go out there and do more deals and there's nothing wrong with either. Maybe you want to take a salary, an additional amount of money but be there day to day and run at least your first business. Maybe you want to run it day to day. Maybe that's the, you have an existing business and you want to grow yours by acquisitions. So maybe the first bolt on, maybe you want to be involved in the, in the merger of those two businesses. And I, I guess help bring things together, help with creating synergies and cross selling opportunities. It's all good. There is no right or wrong here. It's about you figuring out what would make you satisfied? What will make you excited? What will make you say to yourself in a year from today, you know what? I freaking love my life and I'm excited about waking up every single day. Think about it. What needs to happen for you in a year from today for you to be truly happy and excited about your life in terms of, we're talking right now in terms of business, but you need to ask yourself those questions in terms of all of your areas of life, about, about your happiness, about your health, wealth, love and happiness, everything. And ask yourself, where do I want to be? And then based on those goals, then take a step back and figure out with yourself, what are the actions that I need to take in order to get myself into that step, into that space of in a year from today, this is what's going to happen with my life. And when you know your goals, when you know exactly how much money you want to take, what kind of lifestyle you want to live, think with yourself, do I have the strategy to get there? Do I know exactly step by step, what do I need to do with the small details, with the nuances, I want to have a business doing X. Okay. How do I reach out to those businesses? Do I know how to reach out? Do I know what's working right now in 2018 or 2019 in a bit? Right? So figure out with yourself. Do I know the strategies? Do I have the right questions to ask those businesses? Maybe I don't want to buy a business. Maybe I just want to start a business. Maybe I want to have a job. I just want to work somewhere else and I don't want to have, I don't want to have too many, too many thoughts. I don't want to, I don't want to put myself in a space where I need to think too much. I just want to work, come up, wake up every day, do the same boring, repeatable stuff, go back to at home at five 
and watch Netflix all night. I don't know. That's okay. There's no right or wrong. Guys, there's no good or bad in, in life, in my opinion. But thinking make it so. Whatever is working for you personally, based on your beliefs, based on your goals, based on where you want to be in life. For me personally, I want to be the best version that I can be. So waking up every day without feeling like I'm fulfilling my potential to the, to the max, I just won't be able to look myself in the mirror. But are there people who are not like that? Obviously, there are many. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I fully respect it. There are people who are just okay with waking up every day to the same job, driving the same path every day, making almost the same amount of money every month, having the same lifestyle, seeing the same people every day, every week. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I think actually if you can find satisfaction in those things, it's crucial that you are able to find satisfaction in the small things. And it, it bring us back to, to a different topic. But if you can find satisfaction in the small things, it's going to be really hard for you to find satisfaction in the big things. Like if you're not able to be grateful right now for what you have, it's going to be really hard for you to be grateful when you own a multi-million dollar business or one or two or 10 businesses like that. So you got to find fulfillment and happiness right now and be successful and feel successful right now. And then take whatever action you can towards your goals. And you'll see when you're going to end up with those goals, it's going to feel either way, very similar to what you're feeling now. That's why focusing on what's going to make you feel good right now is crucial. That's why it, in my opinion, it's a must for me to wake up every day and ask myself questions like, what am I grateful for? What am I proud of? Like ask, my, ask myself questions to bring me back into the state of fulfillment, of being successful right now, no matter what. Because if you can't find fulfillment and satisfaction right now, you won't find it when you have 10 or 20 businesses. You're just going to end up the same person with maybe more money in your bank account, but you're going to still end up sad and, and unfulfilled. Is it going to be better than now? Um, perhaps yes, perhaps, perhaps no. Um, there's a video that I created of there are two ways to be unhappy. One of them is to get what you want. One of them is not to get what you want. At least when you're not getting what you want, you have some hope that when you're going to get what you want, you're going to be happy. But I can tell you, it's all together. You got to be, if inter there's in the internal game of this world, especially I'm talking business, and there's the external. And I, I believe that when everything is congruent, and the internal is on fire and grateful and fulfilled and proud, then to achieve the external is going to be much, much easier. And it's not going to come from a place of struggle. When the internal is all messy and ungrateful and just uh, miserable and always like negative and jealous, then your external might get some results eventually if you're going to hustle your way to the, towards those results. But when you get, you're going to get those results, which going to take you, in my opinion, 10 times more, 10 times it's going to be harder, more frustrating and exhausting. And even when you're going to achieve those results, it's not going to be as fulfilling. It's not going to be fulfilling because you are the expansion of what you are internally. I fully believe in that. So why won't you focus on your internal first, change that, and then the external will change as well. So I know it's a bit all over the place, uh, this video, but it brings us back to the idea and to summarize it that, guys, a small deal will take you as much time as it will to close a big deal. So think with yourself, what deal do you want? What work do I want to have in my day to day? If I even want to have a work day to day, or maybe I just want to do deals. I like to be out there to talk to people, be the art. I like the art of the deal, go out there, negotiate with people, work on big deals, come up with big creative ideas, come up with big, I, I like the big stuff. Big, I, I want a call, every call that I'm having, I want it to, to have a meaning. I want a call to, to be a potential million dollar business for me, every call. And I want, to be, I want every call to be different. I want to do a deal and, and go out and do a different deal in a completely different industry potentially. At least personally, that's what gets me excited be involved with many different awesome people, exciting people. You're talking to those business owners out there. Some of them exist for 10, 20 years. It's exciting. You learn about someone who mastered something in their life. There's nothing more exciting, exciting in, in life, I think, than going out there and meeting people who are so immersed into their life and journey and their mastery and their craft. And I think it's fascinating to work with those people and meet those people and create a win-win deals with all of those people. 
that's what fuels me that's what gets me excited and i hope it will get you guys excited as well to potentially be involved in the space of buying businesses because most people don't know that it's even possible to do those deals they think that they need to start from scratch and have all those different th things um is it helpful is it good to know how to grow business organically one plan at a time i mean obviously every experience that you have in life will help you in this space but i don't think that it's necessary to start there you can learn the same lessons by buying something and existing and if you have the right strategy and the right understanding and the right way to keep yourself safe then you can start you can basically jump your way past the startup phase and it will really really help you so um yeah I, I really hope you enjoyed some of those freestyle videos guys uh, i really have no notes here this literally black screen i don't know there's nobody or whatever i just think for whatever reason that those videos with the laptop here it looks good uh, but if it's not maybe i need to change it i don't even know so really let me know what you think guys i really hope you enjoyed it subscribe to all of my social channels if you didn't yet and see somewhere below this video uh, in the description or in the comments or something like that we're going to put links for some more free training if you want to watch more details on how to buy businesses a to z with the process with the nuances then go and link somewhere below this video and yeah that's it for today guys subscribe like comment all, all those things that you can do and share those videos with someone you think this can help because that's what i'm trying to do guys to, to put that message out there for people for them to get some value and hopefully get excited about the space of doing deals uh, becoming a, a master of deal making if that makes sense because i i think there's nothing so exciting in the space of businesses uh, and i really hope that i can transfer that excitement and, and message to you guys so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon